That was another record just like that. And we wrote that with a girl called Tamara. And that was her first song. Big John had just signed this new writer. This mm -hmm. was her first writing session, her first song. Pretty good start. Her first song is Heartbreak yeah. Hotel. <laughs> so we take it to Clive. Clive instantly wanted, we had some drama with that because actually TLC won that record too. Mm. So L.A. Reid, you know, wasn't super happy with us because it was kind of the second time we've done that. He also wanted before we lives. Tony or whatever, so there was some drama going on. We then flew to New York and I must say, you know, I was shaking in my pants. I know we had been in with a lot of people, but going in with Houston was like a whole new level. And wow. as confident as we was, and especially me, I was out of control confident back then. I was just, you know, so driven. But I was a very little boy. And we kept driving to a house out in New Jersey. She had this massive mansion where her and Bobby lived. And we were recording at her home studio in Jersey. And every time we showed up the gate, we were told, sorry, Miss Houston, can for today. And wow. all the way back to Man Manhattan. So we had done that like all week. We were kind of like, okay. It kind of took the nerves away a little bit. So when we went out there like the sixth time or whatever, we're just having our suite at the Waldorf or some fancy place, you know, because okay. we're working with Whitney Houston. So, you know, right. <laughs> there was budgets going on. And um, Robin, her assistant, came out from the gate. And I was like, oh, shit. The gate's opening. Oh, shit, the gate's opening. And you <laughs> walk in into this house that was incredible and we walk in with this indoor swimming pool and recording studio and we were setting up and we had our engineer with us uh incredible man american i don't know where i would have been without him um and and our manager was there and we we're just waiting for whitney and i'm walking around and i go to rob and so so whitney does he live like upstairs is that upstairs and or what is she? he goes what she goes, come here <laughs> And we go outside, and it's just this massive, like, almost like a golf course. And at the end of this massive garden, there's a castle. Right. And she goes, that's where Whitney lives. And I was mm. like, holy shit. So she had bought this house that was the neighbor estate just to make a home studio. And there she came on her golf cart, her wow. and Bobby, driving down from the castle. And she came in. And... um and, you know, I just was a little boy from Denmark. Like, I just couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't be, I couldn't be Mr. Swag. I was just so blown away. Wow. And she goes in and she starts singing now again. That's a complicated song because of this beat we always did at that point. We had that half tempo jungle shit going. So she has to bounce up. And she just wasn't used to that because for her, it's like just a ballad. So one take, and it was awful. Mm. And it stops, and I look at Colin, and he looks at me, and I said, I, a, I'm not telling Whitney Houston <laughs> that that was bad. And he goes, yeah. I'm not telling it either. So it's just quiet. And she stands in there, and she goes, what's up? And she came out and said, listen, you guys wrote this song. Just tell them how you want me to sing it. Don't be. Like, she knew it. She was so experienced. She went in again, and it was horrible. She went in again, and it was horrible. And she goes, I'm done. And she left. And Clive Davis calls, and he goes, how's it going? And I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, it's going good. You know, and I was just like, anyways, next day I'm going to make a short. Kelly comes in, Kelly Price, kills the vocal. Right. Like, blows everybody away. Faith Evans comes in, Faith, I mean. Yep. Can, you, can you sound, can you have a voice Mm -hmm. more magical than her like you know kills it we do that so now we have the whole record the only problem is that this is the heartbreak hotel bobby was doing that part and clive has said to me i don't want bobby brown with this record oh. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so i'm just like and i got an amazing song with a terrible vocal from whitney houston and it's her and clive goes has she approved it and i go ah he goes so don't fucking come back here with a record where I'm not getting blown away by Whitney. It's Whitney's record, so she has to take them out. I'm like, oh. so I'm calling up to the house uh, and I say, hey, Miss Houston, you know, can you come down? Oh, no, I love it. It's good. Go for it. Just take it home. Mm. And I said, well, you know, I, I had Clive Davis on the phone. 
I knew that maybe was. And he says to me, you have to come in to prove it. So I can't, you know, I mean, unless you want me to tell Clive that you don't want. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. Okay. So now she comes down with Bobby again. <laughs> <laughs> and I play the song and she sucks. Mm -hmm. And it's quiet afterwards. And she goes, okay. She goes, get me this, get me that, get me that outfit, get me this steamer. Get me this. I want to change that. Use that microphone. I need this guy. You up there. I need that channel with that compression. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? And she goes in and she nails it. Wow. Like, like just only as only Whitney can. And it was just so incredible. And when she was done, I said, hey, can you maybe do that? This is the Heartbreak Hotel. She's like, no, no, no. Bobby's doing that. And I said, well, maybe we can do it together. So she went in. And she did it once. And mm -hmm. that's all you hear. I had to loop that. <laughs> this is the that's all I got. But we got it. The phone was ringing. Nope. No so, worries. yeah. So, wow. yeah, that was a crazy story. <laughs> that's amazing. And, and with Kelly Price and Faith Evans, was that originally the plan to have all three of them on the song? Yeah, yeah that okay. was that was, the, you know, Heartbreak Hotel. I think that was Clive Davis who pretty much from the beginning wanted to be like a powerful female anthem. Mm, that's amazing. And then the